At this time, I'm going to defer to Mr. Jesse, who we have a special guest to lead us in the pledge. Yeah, we'd like to bring up Grayson Perro Luter, who is from Cub Scout PAC 54. And uh, come on up here, Grayson, and then lead us in the pledge. And we, we welcome you here tonight. Mr. Clerk, can I have a roll call, please? Yes, sir. Mr. Callahan? Here. Mr. Sarah? Here. Mr. Oswald? Here. Mr. Baird? Here. Mrs. Mitchell? Here. Mr. Chalette? Here. Mrs. Simmons? Here. Mrs. Davis? Here. Mrs. Keyes? Here. Mr. Jesse? Here. Mr. Stewart? Here. All present. Public hearings? There are none. Can I get approval of the minutes? So moved. Moved by Mr. Sarah. Second. Second by Mr. Baird. Is there any further discussion? Question. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Remarks and reports from the city officials. Safety Service Director Brubaker. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Just two quick items. Um, one, uh, the administration has set the date for Halloween trick or treat. Will be on Saturday, October 30th, from 6 to 7:30. Um, so mark that on your calendars. Uh, trick or treat, October 30th, which is a Saturday, it's from 6 to 7:30. Also, want to uh, give a um, congrats to the Apple Fest committee as well as our city employees. Um, from what I understand and from what I heard listening to radio traffic, the Apple Fest was very, very well attended. Um, very few instances um, in the square or around the square. Our police department uh, did a fantastic job of keeping that under control. City employees did a great job of keeping everything rolling. And as I told the mayor, who is obviously out, um, our city guys and gals and departments, they know this is old school for them. Uh, they knew what to do, when to do it. And you know, this is the first Apple Fest also that our new program with the fire department, with the Fire Prevention Bureau, um, and they were new guys doing the checks on everything, and I thought that went very smooth as well. So kudos to the Apple Fest committee and to our city employees. And then finally, we have Nick uh, Castaris from First Energy. Um, wants a couple minutes uh, to share with you the tree trimming program this fall. I know you'll get calls about that. He will also send me a list tomorrow of the areas where the tree trimming, and I will disperse that out to council members. But Nick? Nick, if you could please state your name and address for the record. There we go. Perfect. Nick Katsaris, uh, First Energy, uh, 6326 Lake Ave and over in, in Elyria. Um, as Mr. Rubaker mentioned before, I wanted to inform you all that Nelson Tree Service will be starting forestry operations this upcoming October. Um, we're doing four different circuits within the city of Elyria. Um, every four years, what we do each circuit for, for forestry, for, for tree trimming operations. Um, trees are probably our number one cause of, of power outages. Um, so we, we take a really proactive approach to, to tree, do tree trimming. Um, <clears throat> the, the process is called uh, direction, it is called uh, directional pruning, which actually cut the limbs at the base of the tree so we, so that the trees grow away from the power lines. Um, so that's why you may notice some of the, the trees under the power lines are kind of growing away from them. Um, they do that on purpose. So um, typically how it works is they will trim the trees, will clean up the debris. If it, there's large limbs, we'll leave that at the base of the tree so the homeowner can remove those, which is a little bit different than during storm operations where during a storm, um, they leave the, the limbs there for the homeowner to, to remove, so it's a little bit different of operation. So, um, like I said, it's happening this October. Um, it'll be Nelson Tree Service. Um, Mr. Brubaker will have the, the list of the streets that will be trimmed this, this year, and if you have any calls from residents, um, any issues whatsoever, just, just get me involved, so I'm happy to help. Very good. Any questions for Mr. Katerris? Mr. Uh, Sarah. For you, this is going to be mostly in the backyard areas? It's along the lines, depending on, so we, we do have some rear lot tree trimming, but most of the, the, the activity will be happening at the, the street level, so depending on what, what street it's on. Thank you. Mr. Oswald? Through you, Mr. President. Okay, so they do the lines, let's say, parallel to the street, but the line that goes into the house and attached to the house. You don't handle tree trimming there, which I really never understood, because if them trees fall, they take out the line in up against the house. 
how do you do something like that when you know that that tree is going to be leaning there? Correct. It's it's all depends on the the owner the the who is responsible for maintaining that. So that that maintenance is is customer maintenance, and then ours is on the actual on the lines on the street or if it's rear lot, depending on where it's at. So it's still lineation of who is responsible. That's very good. Any other questions? Thank you. I'll be leaving some of my business cards over here, so in case any of you don't have my contact information. If anything else, I'm not just trees. If there's, there's storm issues or, or any type of a customer issue with any of your areas, don't hesitate to reach out to me at any time, so I'm happy to help. Very good. Thank you. Th thanks so much for your time. Yep. And that concludes my report, Mr. Chairman. Very good. Finance Director Pulaski. No report at this time, Mr. President. Law Director Deary. Uh, I have no report this evening, Mr. President. Your Police Department, Chief Whiteley. Good evening. Uh, two points I want to make. First, uh, the city uh, swore in, or Director Brubaker swore in, three new police officers today. Of the three, one has to go to the academy, which starts on Monday. The other two already have their certificate, and uh, they're going right into the training program. So, desperately needed, and we're looking for more. So. Um, if you know anybody wants to be a policeman, we'll be given a test at some point in the uh, near future. Uh, and secondly, uh, we started the, the process of being CALEA accredited in 2013. And in 2017, we, we were uh, rewarded by being accredited by uh, the organization. Um, and as they say, the, the second uh, award of the accreditation is much harder to get than the first one. Uh, and I'm proud to say that uh, in July, the end of July, we, we finished everything for our second accreditation, and now we're accredited for another four years. I was gonna bring in the uh, actual award, but it was way too big to try to carry it around, <laughs> so I just left that at the station. Yeah, well, very good. That's it. She, that's, that's, that's great, Chief. You guys do an incredible job down over there, and we appreciate your, your service and your leadership. Um, any questions for Chief Whiteley? Um, Mr. Sarah. For you, where are our numbers at right as we sit as far as uh, officers? Um, I can give you a roundabout. I can't give you exact. I didn't have time today to look, but we should be around with the three. Uh, we also had uh, an officer just recently resigned to go to Medina. Uh, so the, the, the number should be around 82. Uh, of the 82, um, Seven of them are in training of one sort or another, so we're we're at 75 sworn that are working. Thank you. Any other questions, Ms. Simmons? For you, Mr. President, um, Chief Whiteley, I have um, a lot of people in the fifth ward complaining about the double parking when they have a football game, not being able to get out their driveway. Do you know what streets? Wayne and State Street. Wayne and State in that yes. area? Okay. I will uh, have the, the shifts keep an eye on that and see what they can do. They're okay. double parking or they're parking? Yeah, they're double parking. Okay. I, I have not heard that before tonight, so. Okay. We will, I will have the, the shift take a look at that. Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you, Chief. Welcome. Well, your fire department. Chief Pernesti. Good evening. A couple quick things. Uh, first, uh, we had a pretty serious fire on 9-11 uh, uh, in the evening at Ohio Met on uh, Clark Street. Um, pretty smoky fire. It was uh, contained to a large oil pit that they had there, but anytime we have a fire there, it, uh, it's a challenge. Um, that was, again, on Saturday the 11th uh, at night there. Crews did a great job. I also have a couple other things um, about want to bring up. There's an issue with double parking that affects us also because we can't get our apparatus down. So we'll, I'll also make sure that we're aware on those Friday nights we'll work with the police, but that's a big item for us too. We lost the, the grant for the aerial. I was informed uh, Friday that that is not going to take place. So we are not going to get that. Um, we are still in the hunt for the safer grant for personnel. 
We are still down on personnel. Our overtime is, is still uh, rather high because of uh, staffing shortages. So uh, regardless of that, if we get that safer grant, great. If not, we'll be having to seriously look at uh, adding staff. And then finally, um, I am something that uh, you probably hear from the police department quite a bit, but not from the fire department. Um, I need permission to send some members to school that's outside the 500 mile radius. Uh, a big thing for me is training and education. And it's something that uh, in the history of the department, it's not really been put at the forefront of sending people outside of our little world. And uh, so I am, uh, would like to send my three command officers that run the shifts to a class in Phoenix where they basically put you in a simulator and they have you run the worst day that an officer, uh, an incident commander can have, and that's called a May Day. That's when one of our members are in trouble. And um, it's state of the art. It is in Phoenix, but it's at a Phoenix Fire Department Command Center. Um, because of some of my connections outside the city of Valeria, I'm able to get my people there. And so I'm asking for permission on that. I also uh, need permission to send uh, three additional members to a uh, conference in Pensacola, Florida. It's a week-long event, but uh, it's uh, leadership, fire ground tactics, and uh, something that's important is handling personnel inside the fire station where people don't see us quite as often, but we still have issues. And that's all I have for tonight. Before we entertain any questions, Law Director, those have to be separate motions in regards to both separate items or if we do it all can go just to the understanding so yeah, mr. president I would handle each um, uh, event or, or each conference as, as its own so okay. two separate all right very good so chief Pernesti it's the May Day fire in over in Phoenix for additional training yep. or can I get a motion so moved moved by who is I'm sorry mr. Sarah second by mr. bears any further discussion Question. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. And the second one is going to Pensacola, Florida for additional training conference. conference. Can I get a motion? So moved. Mr. Moved by Mr. Baird. Second. Second by Mr. Toledo. Is there any further discussion? Question. Question. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Is there any questions for Chief Pernesti in regards to Brenda? Yes. Sorry. Thank you, Mr. Ms. Davis. Chair. Yes. I just want to ask, do you submit this to the union? Because when you go for training, the union doesn't offer for to pay for this training, especially in Pensacola that you're talking about this conference. Have you submitted it to the union and asked them to pay for it or well I can tell you training is it should be done by the department in the city. Uh, the union really in past uh, my career, I've been on 33 years, the union doesn't really take a role, uh, you know, in, in this kind of training. This is fire ground tactics and control that the city, it, it benefits the citizens and, and my firemen. So to answer your question, it, it, it's never really, it's not a union, it's not a union issue. Um, and they're not, they're, it's not on them to pay. It's it's incumbent on us to pay as a city. It's it's part of their training. It's part of their education, and it's state of the art. And uh, it's going to make it's going to make the department better and to make the citizens safer, my firemen safer, especially for the May Day. That's most important. Any other questions for Chief Pernesti? Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Assistant Safety Service Director Williams. City Engineer, Mr. Schneider. <laughs> For Engineer Schneider, <laughs> Ms. Mitchell. Thank you, Mr. President, through you. Mr. Schneider, can you give us an idea, a timeline, a timetable of when street repairs are going to start this summer? We all want to know. Yeah, unfortunately, I want to know too. I've, we, we've been calling the contractor, requesting dates and times, and unfortunately, they have only given us generalities, and they keep telling us in October. 
So unfortunately, I don't have an exact date. Uh, they do have a limited time to get the work done so uh, by contract. So unfortunately, they're going to have to get it done quickly. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Sarah. For you, what kind of timetable do they have left? As I say, it's very generic. They just keep telling us where they're going to, they plan on starting in October. And no, uh, they have, well, uh, November 15th is the deadline. Thank you. Any other questions for our engineer? Uh, Mr. Baird. Yeah, I'm just, and I think once you get that, and you've done this in the past or been various times, what's going to be done when, and that helps everybody be aware, uh, put it out or communications uh, from safety service officer, your office is always helpful, so. Will do. Thank you. Any other questions for engineer Schneider? Thank you, Mr. Schneider. I think that's everybody yeah. that's here. President's referrals and remonstrances. Uh, item number one, community development. I have number two, Community Development Finance Committee. I have number three, Community Development Finance Committees. I have number four, Community Development and Finance Committees. I have number five, Utility Safety Environment Committees. Items six through nine received and placed on file in the clerk's office. Petitions and remonstrances from the lobby. There, there are none. Petitions from council members, there are none as well. Stand corrected on that. Um, reports of standing and special committees. There are none. Resolutions first reading. There are none. Resolutions second reading. There are none. Resolutions third reading. There are none. Ordinances first reading. Sponsored by Finance, an ordinance authorizing the mayor to purchase 10 Ford Explorer police interceptor vehicles and necessary equipment for same for the Leary Police Department through a participating purchase program authorized by the state of Ohio and declared an emergency. Mr. Tillett. Mr. President, I ask that this ordinance be passed in its first reading under suspension of rules and declared an emergency. Second. Second by Ms. Davis. Is there any further discussion? Questions have been called. On the suspension, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the passage, on the emergency, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the passage, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Ordinance 2021 145. Sponsored by Finance, an ordinance authorizing the Finance Department to pay a moral claim to Pamela Bodner. Mr. Tillett. Mr. President, I ask that this ordinance be passed in its first reading under suspension of rules. Second. Second by Mr. Baird. Mr. Baird, is there any further discussion? Question. On the suspension, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the passage, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Ordinance 2021-146. Sponsored by Finance, an ordinance amending ordinance number 2021-50, known as the 2021 Permanent Appropriations Ordinance, to change funds in various accounts. Mr. Tillett. Mr. President, I ask that this ordinance be passed in its first reading under suspension of rules. Second. Second by Ms. Davis. Is there any further discussion? Question. On the suspension, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the passage, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Ordinance 2021-147. Sponsored by Utility Safety Environment. An ordinance authorizing the mayor to enter into a amendment number eight to the agreement with AECOM Technical Services, Inc. for management services for the city of Elyria wastewater pollution plant consolidated SSO slash CSO slash WWPCP 
wet weather plan and declare an emergency. Ms. Mitchell. Mr. President, I ask that this ordinance be passed on its first reading under suspension of rules and declared an emergency. Second. Second by Ms. Simmons. Is there any further discussion? Question. On the suspension, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the emergency, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the passage, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Ordinance 2021-148. That's all ordinances first reading. Ordinances second reading. There are none. Ordinances third reading. There are none. Committee calls. Community development requests the law director, safety service director, building inspector, and engineer on Monday, 927 at 6 p.m. Council chambers, all items referred. Joint CD Finance requests the Mayor, Law Director, Finance Director, Safety Service Director, and Engineer on Monday, 927, 6 p.m. All items referred. Council Chambers. Finance requests the Mayor, Law Director, Finance Director, Safety Service Director, and Engineer on Monday, 927, immediately following joint. All items referred in Council Chambers. Utility Safety Environment requests Law Director, Safety Service Director, and Engineer in chamber and stream live, all items referred. Uh, we do not have a date on that. Yeah, for utilities. 922. This coming Wednesday. 922. Okay. On 922. Strategic planning requests the mayor, safety service director, auditor, and solicitor. On Monday, 10-4, immediately following the council meeting, all items referred, and that's it. Very good. Miscellaneous and unfinished business. Anybody have anything? Hearing none, Mr. Baird. Mr. President, hearing no further business, I move we adjourn. Moved by Mr. Dr. Baird, second by Mr. Sayers. Is there any further discussion? Question. Okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 This meeting is adjourned. Don't even seem right, does it? Hey, Lowell, how are you doing, fella? Do you need it now, or do you need it? Hello there. Can you complain to play golf tomorrow? Hopefully, yeah, it's going to ring. Mr. Barry. Oh, we're going to kill Bill? Oh, here's Steve. Oh, no problem. So I pulled in that morning. I said, you know what? That's over with. Twenty-one gun salute. Not a problem at all. Yeah, yeah. It was good to see you. How's the hands doing? I was talking to the mic was on or something. I was just...